When you are trying to discern the call of the Holy Spirit, trying to figure out how the Holy Spirit is going to use you for kingdom work, and you just don't know what that burning in the bosom is trying to say. So when you just don't know what to do, you can always turn to the words of Jesus Christ. Blessed are the poor. We'll discuss a little bit about discernment. Hi, brothers and sisters. This is Ryan Zell of the Zell Challenge channel. Have you ever been prompted by the Holy Spirit to action, but just don't know which way he's leading you? This has happened to me quite a few times in my past. And while I am trying to figure out how God the Father wants to use me in this world, I always call to mind these words of Christ. I will fall back on the works of mercy until I have a clear picture of which way the Holy Spirit will guide me. Let us hear the words of Jesus. For you always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. For you always have the poor with you, and whenever you wish to do good to them, but you do not always have me. Sell your possessions and give to charity. Make yourselves money belts which do not wear out. An unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes nor moth destroys. And in John 12, 8, For you always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. Jesus gives us a clue as to what we can do as Christians, of course, when there is a need. This is always a good starting point until you can discern which way the Holy Spirit is directing you in your efforts. The poor are classified as those financially in need and those who are spiritually in need. We can give alms and help those whose faith is weak. We call these the act of mercy. And I will fall back on the acts of mercy until I have a clear picture of what the Holy Spirit is guiding me to do. According to the Catholic Church, the works of mercy are broken down into two categories. The corporeal works of mercy, which are the material needs, and the spiritual works of mercy. Each of these works of mercy are found in multiple places in Scripture. I know that some Protestants or the unprotestant Protestants will come here and say, See, Zell, Catholicism is a works righteous theology. But guess what? We do not believe in the works righteousness theology. The works of mercy are those works that God has given to us so that we should walk in them. Ephesians 2, 8 to 10, for by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing, it is a gift from God. Not because of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. A works righteousness theology? I don't think so. Protestants always claim that we believe we can earn our way into heaven. What they fail to see is our works done in Christ are how we live out the faith we profess. It's how we are made worthy of Christ. It's how we walk in those works. If we rely on faith alone, we are like the Jews who believe that because they are the sons of Abraham, they would be spared the wrath to come. This prompting of the Holy Spirit is a call to action to do the works of God which he has prepared for us from the foundation of the world that we should walk in them. This is not works righteousness. It is the works of righteousness. The Apostle James tells us that our faith must be a living faith and not just rely on our faith alone. The good thief had no time. We do. James tells us in verse 22, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. In 27, religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. James 2, 15 to 16, if a brother or sister is ill-clad and in lack of daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what does it profit? And Paul tells Titus, he saved us, not because of deeds done by us in righteousness, but in virtue of his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal in the Holy Spirit. That's baptism, folks. Titus 3, 14. And let our people learn to apply themselves to good deeds, so as to help cases of urgent need, and not to be unfruitful. 
So if you do not know how or what the Holy Spirit is prompting you to do, start off with the acts of mercy. The prompting of the Holy Spirit within you is the call to enter into a living faith. This is the Holy Spirit working through you. You have become a new creation because it is Christ who gives and it is Christ who receives. Do not do works to earn your way into heaven, but because you are now in Christ and you are doing his works. Without Christ, you can do nothing. If you do not know where to start, again, start with the acts of mercy. There is no shortage of the poor among us. Please consider subscribing to the Zell Challenge channel and please leave comments. God bless you all.